right, guys. So we're going to look now at the game called Equivalent Fraction Match. And it starts on page 211 and 212. And then you'll need to cut out the cards from page 213 and 214 to be able to play it. So it says we're going to mix the game cards up. Cards. And it says we're going to take turns by flipping over two cards. If the cards show equivalent fractions, we're going to get to keep the cards. And we're going to record the equivalent fractions on the recording sheet. See here how one half and two fourths were equivalent? So they put that on the sheet. If the cards do not show equivalent fractions, you have to turn them back over. Oh, I skipped a part. Lay them face down in three rows of six cards each. So it's kind of like memory match. Keep playing until all the cards are matched or no more matches can be found. The player with the most matches is the winner. So it says we want to lay them face down in three rows of six cards each. So I'm going to move this to the side. Put it all on my screen for y'all. There's one row. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And one. Two. Four. Five. I'm going to flip over a card. Here I have one, two, three, four, six, four, six. So I'm looking for a card that will match four sixths or be equivalent. Here I have one eighth. Now one eighth and four sixths are not equivalent. So I'm going to turn that back over. And if I'm playing this with a partner, then it would be their turn to go. Since it's just me, I'm going to keep this one out and I'm going to keep looking for something that's equivalent to four sixths. Oh, what do we have here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's four eighths. So not quite equivalent there. Four sixths. Four sixths and two fourths. Nope, those aren't equivalent either. What? I do know that four eighths is equivalent to two fourths. So I just made a match. And when I make a match, on my game card, I'm going to write four eighths is equivalent to two fourths. So there's one match, and then I would keep those cards. And then my partner would go three fourths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, eight. Oh, that's an equivalent fraction. That was lucky. <laughs> so I'm going to put on here three fourths equals six eighths. And I just keep going, and whoever gets the most sets of equivalent fractions is going to be the winner. You may want to go ahead before the game starts and match them up so that you know what you're looking for when you're trying to find your equivalent fractions. That may help you if you're struggling to still know which fractions are equivalent to each other. Bye, guys.